What is going on guys and if you want to be in for the chance of winning 12,000 FIFA points all you've got to do is subscribe of course send me a DM of proof on Instagram and you'll be added into the giveaway we'll be announcing the winner when I hit 5k which should be in the next week or so so I'm looking forward to that for you guys and myself of course too if you do want to get any extra entries all you've got to do is follow me on Instagram Twitter and Twitch too so you'll get an extra entry for each one of those we're also going to have a word in this video which will get you an extra entry it'll be in the middle of the video you've got to find it first one set it to me we'll get an extra entry now before we get into the video i just want to ask you guys a little bit of team help for myself who has tried walker and tomato and does anyone prefer walker vice versa because i love tomato but i can improve the team i've got some coins just out there what do you guys think but without further ado guys let's get into it So guys, a lot of you may not know this who are kind of new to the channel, but on a Monday, rather than doing three filters, I do five, and they'll all be filters that I've covered over the last week, but are actually either better now, or they're really, really, really good. They're kind of like the top five of the week. So it's kind of like a compilation of all the ones I've done over the last week, just going through and picking basically the best ones for you guys that are still working. And I do that once a week. So the Monday videos will always be five filters we've touched on before, but are either doing really well at the minute or they're doing better than they were originally. So it's a bit of that, but basically five filters. So you're getting spoiled today, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Of course, as usual, make sure to drop a like down below if you do. Subscribe, of course, if you're new to the channel. We're just gonna check the price of these players because I actually haven't checked the price yet. Uh, and we've already sniped two, so they could be going for a lot less than we think. Uh, so we've got Minamino is 850. Uh, so we'll make mm, a little bit on the Minamino we got, but not much. Uh, looking through, William maybe a little bit more. So let's just have a look. It does look like William's definitely more expensive. You've got Ferran Torres in there as well. So let's have a look. Okay, so there's no William. So William is definitely going for a little bit more. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to 850 and we're gonna compare price because that's probably the best way to do it. And uh, because you can see all the new cards, we can see what the player is. If it's anyone other than Minamino, we can pick them up at 850. If it's Minamino, realistically, we want 750 as like a minimum. Um, and you can definitely sell them on for 900 coins. You're just gonna have to wait maybe a little bit longer. And um, so we're hopefully gonna pick up something good from here. Of course, by compare price at 850, we can get the Williams, we can get the Ferran Torreses, the Dharma Triores, which you wouldn't likely get if you were going to go min price, which is kind of like 750 for Minamino. Now, it does seem like not much is coming up. Uh, and because we're doing five filters today, obviously we don't want to get too many players. We've sniped two already. We have made profit off both of those. The William will make us a decent bit of profit in itself. Um, but what we'll do is we're going to wait for the next one to pop up. I'm going to knock it down to 800 and hopefully uh, we get a good snipe on one of these players. And then we're going to move on to the next filter, of course. Um, but we've got quite a good set for you today, guys. So I hope you enjoy the support lately has been phenomenal i'm feeling really really ill today and um, i would have said that in yesterday's video as well but i recorded those both today so i've been quite productive in my illness but i have felt awful so please bear in mind you know uh, my speech definitely isn't going to be top tier as it usually would be um, but we're going to knock that one up for 900 so it's a nice little bit of profit there and we're going to move on to the next filter now we're looking at right backs from the premier league first of all and uh, let's have a look so it does seem like they have dropped in value a little bit so let's have a look what these guys are actually going for if the market wants to load okay so we're just going to have a look it looks like reese james has gone down a bit he used to be a little bit more expensive i think it's because it's sunday at the end of a weekend league i think aurea is actually a good price there we're just going to check his price on footbin i believe he goes for around the k and um, we'll just make sure uh duh, duh, duh. aurea Aurea is coming in at 950 coins, so 100 coin profit, and I reckon we could probably squeeze a K out of him, so that's quite a nice one there. What we're going to do is go back to the page which has all, uh, or the, the screen which had a couple of these guys on, uh, and we're just, I mean, all three of these will be sniped, I think, because they all go for 850, so we can take it. Um, it's not phenomenal profit, but it's definitely better than nothing, so we're going to knock that down to there and whack this guy up for 900 and we'll whack these two up for 
900 as well. All right, I've missed, mislisted that one. But if it sells, it sells. You can definitely squeeze more coins out of players than they're worth all the time just because people are lazy and people will just pay kind of a little bit more if they really need the player like right now. And um, we're just going to see if we can get anything more coming up. We've just got these 800s here. Um, obviously right now it's like uh, it's 10.30 on a sa Sunday, Saturday, uh, it's on a Sunday, so actually there probably isn't many people on the market, which is probably why the players have dropped a bit, which is actually probably going to be an advantage for me in terms of selling these on. I think if I sell them tomorrow evening, I'll definitely get some class luck out of them. Uh, out of the sales so that's obviously the aim it doesn't look like we're going to find another one so we're going to move on to the next uh the next filter which i've got down here as hopefully this one's not reduced in value as the rest of them have but we yeah that's fine so there you go we've got this one coming in clutch at the center back let's have a look so just going to check how much these guys are actually worth it looks like a K is probably like a reasonable point uh, to go from. And if we're going to sell them on a K, the EA tax is obviously going to be 50 coins. So what I'd say is if you go down to 850 and snipe from there and pick up anything you find, because that way you'll probably get a pretty decent snipe. You're going to get pretty decent profit and you're guaranteeing yourself a minimum of 100 coins. Now, if we go down to 900, we can see a few of these guys are here. I'd say take that David Luiz straight away because I think he goes... For a fair bit more we're just going to once again check on footbin so david louise and okay so he's going for 1.2k so that's actually quite a good snipe that's a nice little profit on him and he'll actually probably raise um overnight so hopefully he doesn't sell on and we maybe get a little bit more but you guys know in the sniping videos i never hold cards i always sell them on straight away just to show you guys that the methods are legit we are doing them properly uh, cody is definitely the cheapest player on this method so he's the one you really want to be getting sort of dirt cheap if you're going to pick him up the rest of them i mean that one there 800 we can sell that on for 950 quite easily definitely going to make the profit there so we can't complain about that and um, of course the reason i'm saying we can sell him on for more than he is on the market is because there isn't that many um, at this price and obviously i think that once there are more people on the market it's likely that they will sell quicker and um, so that's kind of what we're looking for i may have made a mistake on den docker um, and you guys know i always admit to my mistakes but oh he's going for one point 1k so that's actually not a mistake at all that's fine we can get some easy profit out of him as well and um, fortunately enough yeah he's going for 1.1 which is basically the perfect price because that means we do get our 100 coins profit and uh, we're going to go for one more let's have a look see what's coming up okay so the david louises and the buys should not be there we're going to get ah oh, see someone's beat us that by i think buy goes for like let me have a look buy is Buys 1.6k. So right now, that's actually a banging snipe. Whoever's, whoever's got that, I'd be very happy with that. Uh, let's knock these down. So we'll put Louise up for 1.1 uh, and 1.2 just to get him to sell on a little bit quicker. And uh, we're going to move on to the next method. So this one here, as you guys may know, if you're not new to the channel, I do go on my phone. I put all my uh, I put all my methods here. So sometimes for this video, I'll take a picture of the old methods uh, and then go through them from the screenshots on my phone. Now we have got this one here, which I've just done it wrong a little bit. We're actually looking for Brazilian forwards. So I don't know why I've gone down to right wing, but we're looking for Brazilian forwards in the Premier League. Now, the other day, this was very good. So next up, we're actually gonna move over to League One. We're gonna be looking at center backs and we're gonna be looking at French. So these are a little bit more expensive. Basically, any league you go to, if you go for their nation and that league, the defenders always seem to be a little bit more expensive. The only place that isn't the case is actually in the Premier League because the cheapest English centre-back is, uh, I think, 950 coins or 900 coins, and that's Cody. We've got Diallo there for 2.3. Um, and we'll just check what Diallo goes for just to make sure because obviously I haven't actually checked the price before sniping So let's just have a look. Okay, Diallo is coming in at 2.6 so we have made profit there 
uh, but it was risky to pick that up. So remember guys, when you are going through uh, filters, you want to check the price before you buy, uh, especially if you go on the video and see like me sniping a player for a certain price, do not then go and snipe him at that price because you want to make sure he does go for it. Uh, so we've got a few DR DRs at 2.4K, so Footman's a little bit off there, uh, but the EA tax on that is going to be 120 coins. So if we go down to 2.1, uh, that'll be where we're finding our profit. Of course, that first yellow we've got may only sell for 2.5 potentially, so we may make a little bit of a loss on him. Um, but we, we are going to have to we are going to have to accept that if we do. We've got this one here. If we can get, I feel like because we're at 2.1 with it, we can definitely get a decent profit out of the card. So we've just got to hope for that. It is just a bit unlucky sometimes with with how it works. We're going to have one or two cracks here. it does look like maybe the game's a little slow um 2.2 i mean if we do some compare price on this one here hopefully we can get something coming up i'm a bit skeptical right now i think maybe the time of the methods is definitely not helping uh, as i said very late here in the uk for sniping anyway um it's, it's definitely better to do it a little bit earlier on in the day uh, we've got 1.6 there, which, to be fair, that's actually a class profit. So I'm not, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to shut up a little bit with my complaining. Um, we'll have a look and work that up. To be fair, that's uh, you know what? I've, I've got to take it. I've, I've got to say, I'm actually pleased with that one. So I'll, I'm a little bit happier there with that. Um, Spanish here, and we're now going to go for Liga Santander. Uh, same sort of uh, theory, we're just going for the league and nation again. Uh, we got Pau Torres is the cheapest one here. He's always the cheapest on this one. Uh, and you can see he goes for basically a K. So what I'd say is pick him up at, realistically, we're going to want 900. We'll go for 900 a blow because if you got 900, you can find other players at that price. Um, actually, it might be better to just do compare price on his actual card here. Okay guys, so I just got a phone call, uh, but in that time, a few of the, the pals have came off the market. We got one there at 750, you can see the one at 900 as well. Um, we could probably pick up the 900 one and, and hold him for maybe like 48 hours and make profit of him, but to be honest, I don't really care about that, that kind of small amount of profit. Um, and there's also the fact like, obviously I know I make the sniper videos for you guys, but I actually, this is like the majority of the trading I do is on camera. Um, I do a little bit, <coughs> of investing which i won't usually advise on purely because i don't actually like i don't want to give you guys an investment and be like all right actually it doesn't work and um, so i am quite careful with advising you guys on investments and um, but oh missed that one there but to be fair 50 coins profit is not great but obviously as i said um bit of a mistake there uh, but no like as i was saying like it's it's a it's a bit of a weird one advising investments and i do do a lot of my my basic profit on FIFA is usually recorded um, and then I do a little bit outside on each method obviously I've got 500k I'm not too in need of coins at the minute um, but if you are in need of coins like definitely if you get a player at nine, 900 and you can hold him for 48 hours make a little bit of profit do it like if you if you need the coins definitely do it I think it's just because I'm quite lazy with uh, if you need to basically if you do a 48 hour investment there is a 100% chance I will forget before I actually uh, sell on the investment which is a bit dumb but I'm forgetful. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to call it a day here, guys. I'm very, very ill. Um, so I don't know if you noticed, I'm just not communicating the, brilli the brilliance. See, so that's even that. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be back to my normal form from tomorrow. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.